Hello dear learners, welcome back. This video will learn how we can interface OLED display with Arduino. So let's get started. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. This is an amazing module for displaying any type of text, shape or values. So let's see how we can interface this sort of module. An OLED display, it's basically a type of display technology that uses organic compounds to emit light when an electric current is applied. Unlike traditional LCD display that require backlight, OLEDs are self-emissive, meaning each individual pixel emits its own light. So that's the difference between LCD and OLED display. If you are working with OLED display with I2C enabled module, it will have four pins. The two pins are related to ground and VCC and the other two pins SDA-CL are related to serial communication using I2C interface. SDA, you need to connect it to A4 pin of Arduino and SCL, you need to connect it to A5 pin of Arduino. There are some libraries related to this OLED display module. The first one is Adafruit SSD1306 library. This library is needed for using this module. You can also use some other libraries for graphics related tasks like Adafruit GFX library, then Adafruit bus IO library, and also another library wire.h for I2C interfacing. So these are related libraries. Now let's learn about the programming. The first step of using OLED display is importing the library. We'll import wire.h for I2C interfacing, Adafruit GFX for graphics related tasks and Adafruit SSD1306, this is the main library related to OLED module. Then the second step and third step are related to defining the display object. In the second step, we will define the width and height of the OLED display using width pixel and height pixel. It could be a 128 by 64 or 128 by 32 module. Whatever module we have, we need to define the pixel accordingly. And finally, to create the display object, we will write Adafruit SSD1306. This line we will write first. Then give any name like display. Within the bracket, the first parameter is the width in pixel. Second is the height in pixel. And two other parameters related to address of I2C module. You need to write it like this way. Then comes the fourth step. Initializing the OLED display. Display dot begin and within the bracket you need to write these parameters. These are related to I2C address and to clear the display you can use this function display dot clear display. After initialization you can print any text. You can set the text size using display dot set text size. You can set the color using display dot set text color. You can set cursor at any point of the display using set cursor function. And finally, to print anything, you need to write display.println within the bracket. It could be a variable or it could be a string. Then finally, display.display to show whatever you have put in the configuration with the text in your OLED module. So this is how you can interface OLED display using these five steps. If you want to learn some more functionalities, these are just optional functions like you can give a scrolling effect using display dot start scrolling left then you can draw shapes like draw rectangular fill circle fill round rectangular draw circle draw triangle with the coordinates and the color so this is uh, for your exploration let's jump into okui and build our first oled project in the okui platform with our arduino we will first bring the OLED module search for OLED and it will bring SSD1306 enabled module here. Okay. The first pin is ground. Let's connect it to ground. Then we have VCC. Let's connect the VCC. 5 volt supply of Arduino. Then we have SCA SDL. SDA we will connect it to A4 and SCL we will connect it to A5. You can give other color for this wire. So that's all for wiring. Let's see how we can write the program. The first step is including the library. We'll first include the library here. So wire.h, Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306. We need to include the library at the library manager also. Let's jump into library manager and pick the library from here. 
search for SSD 1306 and you will find Adafruit library here. Just bring this on. You can search for Adafruit GFX library also. GFX, Adafruit GFX library here. Okay, that will be all. Now comes the second step and third step related to defining the object. Let's define the OLED module width and height first. We have uh, 128 by 64. That is why we have defined this way. Now let's define the object. So we will we have written Adafruit SSD1306 then our object name that is display within the parameter screen width, screen height and these two parameters. Now the next step is initializing the display. Within the void setup we will put the initialization here. Display begin with these uh, parameters and to make the display clear we will write this. Now let's bring in the command for printing text on our OLED module. So here we have first define the text size to 1, set text color to white, cursor to 00, zero. then we have printed a string and finally to show the display at the module we have written display.display. .display. Let's simulate this code with these statements. Here you can see it's as simple as this. Let's say you want to print some variable values here. Let's do that. We'll bring in a potentiometer. Connect the ground to ground VCC to the VCC of Arduino Uno 5 volt. Then the signal pin will provide it to A0. Let's make the color to orange. Let's say you want to uh, print the value of this OLED display here. How can you do that? Here we'll first print sensor value. We'll put print here instead of print line. Then again display print. We'll put analog read here with A0. After that we'll put a delay here for 500 millisecond. And also, after each reading, we'll clear the display using this command. So that will be all for this uh, programming. Let's see how this works. Run the simulation. Here you can see sensor value is 515. You can decrease it to 0 or increase it to 1023. It's working fine. So this is how you can interface OLED module with any types of sensor like potentiometer with Arduino. You can use OLED module at any of your project with Arduino. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.